So when I rebranded over to the Negative BQ channel, I said there would be a little bit of NWA content on here. Um, once upon a time, I used to review NWA Power. This was during the very first season. And when I reviewed the first episode, it was actually the highest viewed, highest watched podcast I've ever done, oddly enough. Um, but then my numbers started going down pretty drastically to the point that it wasn't really which is crazy because more people watched the show back then. But my numbers started going down to the point where it really wasn't worth my time to review the show. Um, you know, it was just it was just a call that I made at the time. Um, but when I rebranded the channel here, I said that I had some interest in adding a little more NWA content back to what I was doing. And to be honest, I'm at a point right now, I don't really care if the numbers are are less um i care a lot less about my vanity metrics right now than i i did at the time i care a lot less about you know building some you know I, every once in a while I say hey you know subscribe to this channel but it, it isn't something i open up every show with every podcast um i like getting new subs but i don't focus on it the way that i used to i just don't um don't really care about the ad revenue like i used to I'm kind of to the point now. I'm just like, if I want to review the show, I'll do it. Why not? I've experimented with a little bit of NWA content on here in the past several months, and I've been pretty happy with the numbers. So I am going to bring the NWA Power Moves podcast back. Uh, it's going to be very brief. It's a because their show was an hour. It's, you know, there's usually three, four matches on there. Um, it's it's going to be you know brief reviews. Initially, what I was going to do was recap everything in one giant episode for the month. Um, but as I was, was taking notes, I was like, I don't I, I didn't know what kind of format I was going to roll with, to be honest. I just it, it wasn't really going to work for me. There's there is a possibility that I change it into. Because I did experiment with this when they debuted on the CW app, there's a possibility I may review two episodes at once and do two shows a month. That is a high probability. Um, but the the new season is starting, and I, I am going to bring the podcast back. And uh, there's been there's been less interest in the NWA when you talk about from day one, but I'm seeing more crossover right now with uh, the TNA audience than I think there was previously. One thing I wanted to talk about here real quick, anytime that I do uh, these shows, people usually weigh in and say, um, not not from the United States, but from, you know, our, our friends overseas. I always say overseas, that's just military terminology. Uh, friends overseas, friends in Canada as well, uh, that say, well, when do we get to watch NWA again? Is when they get off YouTube, then they lost access to being able to watch the show. And there's people um, by hook, you know, by all means necessary, trying to find links online. Uh, those are the real dedicated fans. But I have noticed in the past several months, they do have a lot of pretty dedicated fans outside of the United States. And I said that I would ask the question and try to figure out um, the future of their their streaming. And when it would come to fans that were outside of the United States. And, you know, it is something they're working on. That's all I could really tell you. Uh, that, you know, it, it is a process. It's, it's just a process. Would it have been nice if they had every single duck in a row, uh, you know, when they made the transition to the CW app? Absolutely. If there was a plan in place at the time of, well, here's a, here's how you can watch if you're, you know, you're not in the States. Absolutely. But I just want, uh, want those fans to know that, um, you know, help is on the way and, you know, your time will come, but you have not been completely wiped off the face of the planet. Um, just because you're not getting the show right now, it's not, it's not a long-term thing. Um, but hopefully I can provide a a podcast and a review for you guys to where you can 
kind of keep on keep up on what they're doing. So like for example, I don't watch a lot of AEW anymore. I don't watch Raw or SmackDown ever, but I actually do listen to reviews of the show. Um, you know, when I'm going to work or when I'm at work because I kind of like to have an idea of what's going on. You know, I like the picture painted for me even if even if I'm not watching the show. So I hope that I can uh provide that for some of you guys who are not in the United States so that when the time comes where you are able to stream and there is a way for you guys to watch the show that uh, you you can, you know, just flow right back into it and understand what's going on with the stories and who's on top and and all that, you know. So I'm going to start this weekend uh, with with uh, I was going to do the last episode of the pre- previous season. I just didn't think it was a good show. So I just don't want to start with that one. But this um this new one here. Uh, I, I'm going to I'm going to do something on this weekend. And again, these will be brief shows. But hopefully I'm giving you guys an idea of who's on the show, who's getting pushed, um, who's in the title picture, who's holding the belts and all that. That is that is the goal. And I understand that. The grand scheme of things when it comes to my channel. You know, the rating, the the, the viewership numbers are not going to be huge. I'm really OK with it at this point. I'm uh, I'm confident in what I have with my channel and. You know, for me to continue to love what I do. And to continue to love what I, you know, what I podcast and what I talk about, you know, I got to do stuff for me sometimes as well. And that's what I'm going to do. So if you if you're someone who doesn't even watch the NWA, doesn't care about it, you still may have some interest in what I do and what I say, and what I talk about. And just because it might it might change your mind. You might decide, you know what? I think I may tune in to this show. I do not think it is good as impact. It looks better than Impact. I don't think overall it's as good, but it's just different. That's all it is. It's just a different flavor of ice cream. It's easier to to digest, and it's nice to have. It's nice. It's nice to be a fan of a show that um, you don't overly invest yourself into, where you're going in the dirt sheets and you're looking at numbers and this and that. Sometimes you just take it in for what it is, and that's what NWA has become for me. It is something that. I can watch and I enjoy and I don't feel the need to overanalyze. You know what I mean? Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do here on the channel. Power moves will return. I'm going to try to review episodes one by one to begin with. And then I may do them in pairs. Hey, Bubba, I just wrapped it up.